The arts program has always been something we've been committed to here at ISP. We've cared about having our students involved in music, the arts, and in theater, and we've worked hard to make those programs a significant part of the kids' education. Working on a kindergarten through 12th grade sequencing of the arts with the IB philosophy of being an independent, self-directed artist at the end of it in whatever art course or arts discipline you choose, there should be that element of creativity and driving your own investigation. Okay, I need everyone else silent. Just like Tuesday, hang up the phone. Every December we have students in grades two through five audition to be part of the elementary school musical. And from that we always have an amazing selection of talent and every role just fits perfectly. I really like music because sometimes we get to act out the songs. I like to sing because like you can just say the words that pop in your head and try to make a melody and express like your feelings. Music has different kind of tones and feelings to it, so it's very special. And I like music. <laughs> That's the idea. Good. Excellent. Everybody again. A little bit faster this time. One, two, three. We have rock music. We're doing um, some big band music. We're doing Mozart this term. And just general band repertoire. By studying music, students are able to transfer the skills necessary to play an instrument in a, in a way that is positive to uh, enhance their other subjects. If we can teach young people to conquer fear and to take risks, then we could say that we have accomplished our goal. By the time they get to middle school, they're prepared for a more in-depth project-based. They can really sit down and critique art pieces and maybe go to visit a museum and really understand what they're seeing. I know from personal experience that when kids are involved in the arts, they, they have a different experience with different people and it makes them more ready for the world. No language barrier, no cultural barrier. They know ways to get past that. The bottom line is that the students know that they have a problem, how to solve that problem, even if it's visually or conceptually. Okay, we're, uh, we're filming an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Uh, right now we're start trying to set up the opening scene with all the, with all the uh, extras and actors of the hardest scene. And Mr. Ron told us to film that first. But uh, yeah, we're trying, trying to get it done. Actors ready? Camera ready? Action! I think you have to have curiosity and you have to have questions and you have to have um, something that you want to communicate. When you're a little kid you have it and then it sort of gets taken away from you or discouraged or you have less and less access to it. And in our arts program we're letting people engage or re-engage with that. Another important thing about having kids and adolescents exposed to the arts is that sometimes students are not successful in sciences and math and they don't feel very good about themselves. Yet, when they come to art or drama or music, sometimes they find, they find that thing that they're good at. It also makes them realize that, yes, it's not that I am not smart, it's just that I have another type of intelligence. For me, art is a, a form of expression in which it could be through words, through math, everything can be considered art. It just, it means like anything that can help you express yourself, anything that can help you tell other people what you're feeling, what your thoughts are, and that's what art means for me. Uh, I like to create my things, like express myself, and I like more like, I like grandma and art. Those are my favorites. I've been thinking about being an artist, like I love to paint and I love to draw, but I also want to be like an engineer. Our goal is to uh, educate the whole child, uh, the academic, the athletic, and the creative side of um, each student that we have. 
But it's been limited mainly because of the facilities. We have, we have an art room, we have a music room, and drama has been, you know, where we have a place, we go for a drama. The Performing Arts Center is, is, has been a, in, in pro, in, as a project for a long time. It was already in the master plans that were created, um, I don't know, 20 years ago. They completely changed the parking lot for the buses and then they started building the art center and then we saw the plans for what they want to do and I was like, that's something I would love to, to be in because not a lot of schools here in Panama have their own performing arts center. And it has a black box, it has a full theater and many music classrooms. We will have rehearsal rooms, we will have possibility to do uh, dance lessons. And the other part that I think is super important for, for the theater that no one sees is the backstage. And we will have the green room, you know, the place where they relax and enjoy. And and the beauty of theater is that it become they all become so integrated and so friendly, and it's, so they become a group. They really become attached to each other. They're gonna have this sense of belong. Like, okay, this is our theater. It's our house. I really, really like it. I wish I could stay another year just to be in it, but. I think the future generations are really going to take a lot of advantage of it. Basically saying, here we have the space for you, and we have some resources, and now all you need to do is bring your creative self and your ideas, and uh, we'll encourage it and let it grow. Well, that's where we want this program to go, to be a really, really good fine arts program. The best. Guys, pay attention. This is the moment. There's audience outside. Remember. There is not going to be an experiment like this one, ever. Wait, Just enjoy it, please. Okay? That's what Mr. Wong Now, wanted. everybody, shake your energy. Shake your energy. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Let's go. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Woo! Art means to me my whole life. Everything revolves around art for me, and especially drama. Studying drama really helps me with uh, feeling confidence, you know, being uh, being more open, making new friends. I think the art field is really important. No matter if you're going to dedicate it to that or, or you're going to follow another direction, it's helped you to develop your humanity, helped you to express yourself. Yeah, it's helped you to build your personality and your your character. <laughs> ISP really, honestly, is a school of dreams. And I think that what's relevant about that now is that we have to continue dreaming. And that's what part of the pack is, that future dream. And it'll be a centerpiece. And it'll be a place where families can gather and, and we can celebrate our talents, our talented kids.